Mr. Moreno. Mr. Lorenzo. You familiar with a, uh, a Dave Palin news reporter? Yeah, but what's so important about a news reporter? I need you to kill him. Anything, anything you say, boss. He's gonna be a pain in the ass later. He's, uh, he's a part of an ancient prophecy, you see, where we get these three keys, and with them, we can summon three legendary ancient weapons, and with them, we can have total power over Cornsville. I like that. Oh, where is that phone? Turn off! Oh, oh boy. Time to go send joy to the people of Cornsville in the form of entertainment. Yippee. Stylish, and you work it. Hello, Cornsville Daily News Station. This is Dave Pallon, and your daily news reports from Cornsville, Maine. I am your host, Dave Pallon. Very good news reporter, by the way. Thank you for supporting my great talk show, The Pallon Broadcast. Brought to you especially by Corn Co. I mean, so that's, that's if Cornsville had the best news reporter ever, but I'm not a great news reporter, apparently. Can't wear the same thing as yesterday. Oh, wait. You can. <laughs> Loophole. Except for on the leather jacket this time. Oh, I really need better shoes. But it's time to go. known as Titan, right? I'm doing a very important project right now. This is a very important matter. I don't got enough time to tell you who I am. There's people after you right now, Dave. I got going. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Where are we going? We're we'll having a time right now, Dave. Gotta finish up to get your father started. My, my father? Whoa, 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 my father. What are you talking about, my father? My, I haven't seen my father in years. No more questions. God, get going. Going? But somebody's trying to kill me, you're saying? But who wants to kill Dave Pallant, a news reporter from Maine? We don't have the time for this. Where are you taking me? It's 
said we don't have the time. Over there. So this is him? Yeah. He's Australian now. What's the Yes, and uh, we will book it to Maine. <laughs> Mr. Lorenzo. Ah, Mr. Marino, welcome back. Uh, thank you. I assume you've taken care of her news reporter problem? <sighs> Not quite. He escaped. And I think he knows about the keys. Anyway, no matter. We will continue according to our new plan. My brother, I've called you here today to discuss the matter that concerns the mob as a whole. There are these three keys that our good friend Optos had started to look for until he was defeated by his own brother. These three keys summon three legendary ancient weapons, and if we get our hands on them, we can have true power over the city, and we can be the president of Cornsville. I could get some of my men together. I don't need just men. I need a leader. I need someone who can get these keys and get the job done. Are you familiar with Horns the Terrible? I've heard the name. What about him? I believe he could acquire the keys. Well, what does he do? Why is he called Horns? He was the right-hand man to Optos. He was a hunter and an executioner. And he wielded a horned helmet to eviscerate his victims. And a massive mallet. I'd like you to grab him for me. Where are we? This looks like a dock or something. Why are you taking me to a dock? Mike, you don't know what I got yourself into. What I got myself into? I just got kidnapped. What, what do you mean got myself into? This is ridiculous. What, what is this all about anyway? The cargo gets loaded. Who are, what are you and you? I am Raul. Driver. Who did you bring me to? Why are we here? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Hey, look for three important artifacts and we need your help. Three artifacts? Is that what we're looking for? Huh? Yeah. Actually, that's exactly what I'm looking for. That's what you start, you kidnapped me in a car. Brought me out and kidnapped me in a car, and then brought me out to a dock where she, I don't even know who these people are. We have a, a Middle Eastern man with a big ass beard, we have a goth lady, and we have a freaking Australian that's you! Hey, stop cursing, okay? My name is Raul, and these horses are from Austria. Screw off, Raul! This is my turn to talk! I'm mad! <sighs> hey, I know you're mad, especially at Raul. Well, we don't stop. in charge of this little operation that you have going on here? Well, that's Captain. Captain? How do you know ca Captain? Raul, what do you have to say on this? Who's Captain? Look, man, I am just... Listen, you say I am from the Middle East, right? I am actually from Denmark, okay? I am just a chauffeur, okay? It is difficult to find jobs in this country. And you're coming to me, and you're asking me about this. I don't know what kind of stuff you are mixed up in, man. It has nothing to do with me. Why are you coming asking me, huh? Uh, because you're the chauffeur? I don't know. What, what, what do you think? What do you think? You just drive me into this. Fine. You know what? Take me to Captain. I want to meet him. I want to meet Captain. Where is he? Where's Captain? Yo, Captain, where are you? I want to meet him. 
Where is he? So where, where is the captain? Where is this wonderful captain you keep talking about? Well, follow me, mate. I'll show you to him. Horns. 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 Uh, what in God's name? What? You don't do nothing. Where, where were you when we was fighting? I mean, we was fishing buddies, and I don't even know you like that. And we, 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 we I, that, you, had, you didn't see it? I didn't see it. Come on, we have a job for you. you you're talking, you talking about, you talking about Captain? I'm talking, we need somebody to procure the three keys. Well, anything to get back at Captain for what he did to me years ago. Come on, no more talk. Move. Dave Collin. It's finally time to meet you. James, you can go now. All the old. You're the famous captain I heard so much about, huh? And I am. Dave, I've been looking forward to meeting you for quite some time now. Have you? So, uh, is that true? You're really well wanted to meet me this much. Yes. Yes, I have. Dave, I have to talk to you about a uh, project your father once took on in his youth. Come with me. All right. Who's that other man? Oh, that was James Ammo. Best damn fighter I've ever known. All right. Step aside. Welcome, friend. How are you? How you been? Been good, been good. Have a seat, please. Would you like a drink? I would love a drink. Gives me joy before the hunt. You're a nice man. A good man. I have a gift for you if you're willing to accept it. I think you will like this gift. I know you are familiar with the captain. He is looking for something we both seek. I seek the same key. And you want for us to work together? You want me to be your hunter, your claimer? I will be. I, I will be. Uh, I will be. Horns, the terrible. So, uh, why do you need me exactly? What's, what's this all about? We're looking for three keys. Three hidden, very powerful keys. Oh, really? The Scepter of Optos, the Sword of the Captain, and the Shuriken of James Raptor. Now, if all three of these keys are thrown into the wrong hands, it could mean disaster over the world. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm starting to understand a little bit more about this now. All right, um... So, who's after these keys? Well, Optus. Okay, how do, who is Optus? He's a villain, a horrible villain that I've had clashes with many times before. We're about to have another. It won't be so easy. I think they sent someone to retrieve the keys for them. Yeah. Horns the Terrible, my nemesis. We're bound to run into him in our search for the keys. All right. So it's you, me, and you, Captain, and who else? My sister, Golden. She'll be accompanying us at different times during our adventure. Okay. All right. Um, all right, but what else? What else do we have to do? What is this? whole origin story with this Optus guy um like about exactly I'll be right back Optus his captain's brother they fall in the great war together there's Golden right now oh hello Golden yeah I've never heard of the great war the great war who has it it's all over the news Captain led us into battle, and we fought for hours. 
Not a day goes by that I don't feel the pain I felt that day. Dave, I have to tell you something. What's that? I fought psychos, I fought the darkness, and nothing, nothing was as hard to do as what I had to do that day. All right, what about the keys? What's this? There's a group called the Draggers. Their leader, Horns the Terrible, is looking for three keys. Now, if he gathers all three keys, he can unleash the three weapons, as well as destruction over the whole world. That'd be hell on earth. All right, but what's my, what do I have to be in this for? Why, why me? You're the chosen one. Only you can bring salvation. The horns the terrible. They, your dad, Jim Palin, he's the only one can stop the curse. This curse is passed down to every Palin until Optos is trapped in hell. You see, you're the only one. That can stop him? Yes. As long as I help you. All right. Captain, Golden, James, all right. Where is this first key located? The first key is hidden in this riddle. Where the people are hollow and the town is stone, I dwell in the woods. Well, must be a place I've gotten news report before because I've been all around. We're in Cornsville now. If these keys are, I'm guessing, somewhere in this area, like within the next few towns, the only other place that I can think of that has anything to do with stone Stonestown. I, I used to go on vacation there with a buddy of mine, Tyler. And if it says it's in the woods, we're in for a journey, aren't we? All right. Is there anything else I should know about before we go into this? Yes. Horns the Terrible used to be my student, my best student. After he betrayed me, he ran away to find the keys. He's out for revenge and to kill me. Mm. All right. All right, then. Well, whoever this Horns the Terrible is, I'm sure we can take him down. I sure hope so, Dave. <sighs> this, is, this looks like the one for my house, my dad's. Did you read my room? Well, of course I did, Dave. All right, this was my dad's. He want me to wear it. Let's go find these keys. That's where the first key is, huh? Down one of these paths for sure. Damn right. Which one should we go down? Should we go as a team or what? Well, let's split up into groups. And we'll flip on it. We'll flip on it. All right. Ready? All right. Call in the air. Heads. Heads. All right. I guess I'm with you. All right. Nice. All right. I'll go and meet. Go and meet with up with my sister Golden. Okay. Right. In Australia, I was sent there to look for the staff by a group of people I used to work for, and we were out there for days. And then there was something out there we didn't know about. There was some but sort of beast. A beast. And then tracked us down. What kind of beast? Well, I'm not really sure what it looked like. 
don't remember too well. Okay. But the try tracked us down and then kind of led us to the staff. And then we brought back to America. Now, the captain kills one of the people who wanted it. Really? Okay. So what happened to the staff? I'm not sure. You're not sure at this moment? <sighs> Interesting. I heard something about a staff long ago, but some say the mob took it and hid it or it just disappeared. It was some sort of ancient weapon. That's what I've heard. Interesting. I find it very interesting that they hit a key in a town with such a definite riddle to it. They need justice. Justice. That's a word that was once very, very important to me. And I was a vigilante once. He called me the Captain ST. The ST stands for something very special to me. One of my greatest adventures was when I teamed up with this fellow. He was very extreme. He locked up Speckle and his pal Gonzalez. Speckle was mad, too. He's gone insane. You know, he used to be a psychiatrist. How old was he called them? He's one of the most craziest people I know. Well, let's not dwell on the past. We need to find this key, Golden. Hey, James, come over here. Yeah. What's what's this on the ground? I think I found the key. Oh, looks like a clear that the next key is. Might be in place called Melton. Gotta show this to Captain. Well, let's go then. We have to go tell him. But first, let us have some fun. Well, hello, James. Horns, thought you were locked up. I was, but now I'm free. Dave, take the key and go. Wait, but James, go. Captain, Captain, hit, Captain. I guess the ammo is unloaded. Hmm. I must tell Lorenzo of my findings. Captain! Captain! He, he was gone. Horns! He found us! He's in the woods. James was fighting him. We have to go find him. Damn! Let's go! They were right here. Both of them. They were, they were just fighting. They're gone. Damn. Damn! Horns must have gotten them. We have to find the second key. Right. Where is it? It's in a uh, um, mountain. 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 Yeah, that's what James read. All right, let's go get my sword. And let's go get James Anna and the key. I only have you where I wanted you for the last six years, my enemy. It's finally time for you to face your destruction. You're probably wondering why I captured you. Well, you see, it's because you're a bargaining chip. You think I'd give a damn? By the end of this, I'll have your head on a platter. Uh, do you, uh, you like my hair? Uh, I thought it was time for a shave. Optos would be proud. Oh, monster. Once I get out of this, I'm gonna cut your legs with your own saber. You couldn't knock me out even if you could get free. You know why? Because you're too weak right now. You know, Captain will come and get out of me sis eventually, you know. You see, that's the plan. And then Captain will see my fury. Luckily, I don't need Captain. So this is it, right? Yeah, this is where the second key is. Mountain, it's a quiet town. Hopefully we can find it as fast as possible and find James Ammo. That's the goal. Let's do it quickly. James! 
Oh, brother from down under. Oh. How's it going, dude? I thought I lost you. How did you escape horns? Well, I escaped with my arms proficiency. Oh, well, made in my sword. Ah, gotcha. Well, enough of that. We need to go get this key. Let's go. Right. Okay, wait, Dave. What? What? What's up? We need to get two people to help us and find the key. Who? Rihanna and Brendan. Okay, let's go. All right. So you want to introduce me to your crew, I'm assuming? Yeah. Alright, so this is Brianna. She's kind of a nerd, ah. but she's a scientist. Ah, nice to meet you. This is the pilot Brendan. Nice to meet you. Ex-pilot. He crashed a plane. Probably one of the craziest persons I know. Ah, nice to meet you, Brendan. And you all seem like really nice people. Uh, haven't heard anything bad about you guys yet, so uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> a little Sancho. So, what was that? Gringo. What? What? <clears throat> <laughs> I don't, I don't speak your fancy language or whatever, um, so, uh... All right, Dave, so this is our group. I know these lands very well, and let's go find the key. Okay, let's go. Hordes! Again? Seriously? How many times have you run into them today? Hello again, I have found you. I am Horns of Terrible, the only immigrant who can jump and uh, chop over. Trump's walls, so uh, be prepared, prepared to lose to your old muchacho. Wait, how does he keep finding us? Seriously? He just seems to find us wherever we go. You know, it's crazy. Coordinates should correlate us to here all the time, every time. Come on. Diego, do that. The blood track on me. Of course, when he captured you, he said he basically lost. I mean, not saying you're a bad fighter and all, but he basically made you lose so that he would lead us right here again. Isn't that right, Chancho? Yeah, so that's what they call me, huh, Chancho? Yeah, well, I'm gonna get all you Chanchos. I'm gonna get this key, and I'm gonna be the only one leaving this place. Here you go, guys, I'm gonna get the key. Come on! going on? Did you guys get the key? Uh, we lost. It's far off. Horns has it. Oh, great. Well, where's the other key? Did you at least find out where it is? It's a town over in Meadowsville. Ah, uh, okay. All right, so you just go with Captain, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll meet up with the other two if I can find the other one, but... Uh, We'll meet up after we find the key, hopefully, okay? All right. James, good luck. Good luck to you, right. today. All right. So the key must be in Meadowsville. Mr. Marino. Ah, Mr. Lorenzo. How are things going with key and horns? Very well, very well. James and Captain are up there. That means the key could be up here, up there, or down here. So, what do you say? Well, by my scientific explanation, I would say you're right. Oh, ah, thank you. <laughs> Not so fast. Oh, it's horns. Yeah, yeah. You think you're gonna get to these keys? You've got another thing coming because I am horns, the terrible. And uh, yeah, just uh, just sit there, boy. Woo! 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 I want them keys. Yeah, you want to get these keys? Well, go find Captain James. Go to the top of the hill. Look, the sword's broke, boss. Ha <laughs> ha, fuck. I need to go take a... Hey, little girl, why don't I take you to the prom? Well, I'll play this right now. Scientific evidence. Hey, the prom. Me, Brianna. 
Brianna, Brianna! Oh, 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 hello? I knocked him out. Oh my god. Did it. We did it! We did it! Yep! Yeah! <laughs> Take uh -huh. that horn. You're terrible. Alright, we gotta go find this key. Right. This way. Okay. The key should be around here, right? Well, I mean, if you take a look at the long stream latitude, I mean, it should be right here. Hopefully. Uh, here's a look. Locked. I think I found it. All right. No, I guess we'll report back to Captain. I assume so. All right. He's gone. By my calculations, that little choncho boy was supposed to be here. Oh. so fast boys it is i horns are terrible and there's no chance you're gonna get this key i'm gonna get the key and i'm gonna make sure i unleash optos what do we have here boys. i think you lost your way captain i think you need to go back to the ship the only person going anywhere is you the darkfield penitentiary what it's like to lose someone of your own. No! <laughs> Cletus, you bastard! I'm gonna make like a rooster and cock a doodle do out of here. I'm gonna get that key. Right on, mother hen. Kill horns for me. And I'll say, get my ship off the barbie. Slit his throat in the middle of a fight. Fight. Did you at least get the key? I did. I ran into horns down this down under or whatever when I was down there. So <sighs> let's make sure that James's death is not in vain. Yeah. We must kill horns for this little son of a bitch. All right, Captain. Let's go. Care about this thing. All right, let's go. We should bring his body back. Oh yeah. Give him a proper burial. Right. Let's go, James. We found the three keys, but we lost James Ammo. He was a good man. He's been with me and my crew since 1996. I almost can't believe he's gone. But his death will not be in vain. We will find horns and we will defeat him. We are strong. I miss James. I do too. But you know what? You're right. We are strong. We're gonna move past this. But there was something I noticed during the flight. When I saw Horns when I was going to get that key, I noticed he had something on the, like, the inside of his jacket. It was like a patch. It reminded me of a symbol I used to look at when I was studying a certain group in Cornsville, the Mafia. I think he might be working with them. I think they might be the ones who hired him to do this or something like that. The Mafia. 
I need a minute. Okay. Dave and Golden, it's about damn time I got you. I got you right where I want you. Horns, how did you find us? Well, you see, I got rolls all over this town. You see a pigeon? I got a, I got a uh, camera in it. What do you want? What do you want? Well, it's quite simple. I want the keys, just like you. Oh, really? Not again, you scum! God. Good lord! Ah. Stay away, boy! Stay away! Stay away if you know what's good for you! Ugh. You bastard! You killed James! I killed James? <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. I killed a lot of homosexual men named uh, James. You're gonna have to be more specific than that. James wasn't gay. What were you talking about? Oh, <laughs> must have been from another movie. Ready to die, bastard. Stop, don't do it. Why? Why should I let this piece of shit live? Because you don't want to stoop down to his level. Now look, I think I have a pretty good level. I mean, look, I, I like to keep in touch with my fans, and, uh, you know, I think I'm doing all right. Why are you being so judgmental? You killed my friend. I, I don't know how many times I got to explain myself. You have a clear shot at me with the sword. You threw my sword all over right. there, and you're not killing me. Look, this is getting too meta. The only place you're going to be smoking is in hell. And when you get there, say hi to Optos for me. I really am sorry to hear all this, but uh, I guess it means that it's time for me to make my grave. Escape! Take that from across the pond. Ah, take that, Horns the Terrible. You're going right to Darkfield Penitentiary. No, I'm not. Yes. Get off me, boy. Yes, you are. Get off me, boy. You're going to be hearing from a lawyer. You have the right to an attorney. No, boy, I got my, yeah, you don't forget about my, my rights. I want my Miranda rights. You're not an officer. I want to see the officer. You want to see the officer? I want to see the ossifers. The ossifers? Yes. What are you, Austin? Yes, sir. You're going to go to Darkfield Penitentiary. Get out of my face, you son bitch. I have the right to an attorney. I have a right. Listen, you're not even a real office ossifer. Too bad. Captain, help me out. You can't do this. You can't take me like this. Yes, we can. You can't. This is... This is imprisonment. This is illegal. It's legal. They're no. going to take you out. You have okay? the right to, right to an attorney. I have the right work. to my own ass, okay? It's over, Lorenzo. Your plans have been destroyed. Well, I'm impressed. You've defeated Horns. Well, I'm going to do what any Italian mobster would do in my position and uh, dip out. Get him, Angelo! Golden, watch out! He's gone. Damn! Looks like they've stopped us dead in our tracks. Okay, boss. But we're gonna go to plan B. Alright. Golden? Dave? Good job taking down horns. Thanks, Captain. We appreciate it. You know, we all make a pretty good team. You can't keep me in here, you bastards! We do. We do make a pretty good team. All right, Dave. I'm gonna escape! You may be the chosen one, but you still have a lot more to do. There's more to you than meets the eye, right under the surface. Now, as for horns, I contacted the local law enforcement. Ain't no Here's the officer captain. Hold my body down. There I am. Where's the prisoner? In the holding cell, shouting his head off. You're going away for a long time, Cletus Marston. Oh, <sighs> well, that wraps that up. Yeah. Where'd you put the keys? Get your hands off me! I thought you had them. 
thought I gave them to you. I'm not going Jesus. nowhere! Where are the keys? Don't tell me we're this ain't no, them again. This ain't no freedom! This ain't no government! This ain't no, I know my rights! This ain't no democracy! You have the right to remain silent if you know I your rights. I have the right to my own freedom of speech! Wow. Thanks for the breakout, Marina. You're welcome. It was real nice of you. Guys, right, down here. Where are they? The horns. They're gone. Damn! We've been tricked. What do we do now? We have to find them. Let's go. Time to bring back my greatest friend. Oh yeah, sha! about a rising threat. What's the threat? I received a recording from an old friend. You remember Speckle? He sent me a video. I think you should see it. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm so glad that you are here today. As you know, I'm from the Coinville Insane Asylum, and as much as I am grateful that you've locked me up with other loonies, in fact, it is quite a dump. And when I escape, I will come back and return with a team of psychopaths and we will burn you to the ground. <laughs> How long ago was this sent to you? Yesterday. That son of a bitch. He has to be stopped, but horns is more important. I need the sword. The sword? Are you sure? I need to stop horns, and it's the only way. Horns first, then speckle. Oh! Ha ha ha! I've got my enemy and I will do evil, evil things to you! Ha 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 ha! Everything's going according to plan. 